Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's make South Indian dish fish uppu curry. It's a simple and easy yummy recipe using boneless fish and simple ingredients available at home. So let's quickly jump into the ingredients. At first, let's take 250 grams of boneless fish completely rinsed and cleaned, jeera, mustard seeds and red chilies, one tomato, some 20 shallots, three strands of curry leaves, and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder 2 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste 2 teaspoon of chili powder 1.5 teaspoon of garam masala salt as per the requirement and oil for cooking at first i am heating the pan and adding a spoon of oil once the oil is heated let's pop the chilies jeera and mustard seeds have dropped the red chilies and jeera and mustard at this point i am also adding shallots and curry leaves add salt as per the requirement so the shallots cook easily and quickly and post this i am adding one tomato roughly diced i prefer the country tomato rather than the farm because of the tanginess and add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and keep stirring it well at a medium flame now i'm adding ginger garlic paste and sauteing it well at a medium flame I'm getting a beautiful aroma of the garlic, ginger and the shallots. Adding the garam masala and chili powder and sauteing it until the raw flavor gets off. Add little bit of water, not too runny, just a thick pasty consistency just to coat the masala over the boneless fish as the gravy cooks up the oil splits and is the right time you are going to add a raw fish add the fish cubes you can also add 2 teaspoons of tamarind paste if you like the tanginess but since it's a uppu curry i wanted to keep it very simple just the nutty style Let's cook this fish uppu curry on a medium flame for 15 minutes and after this I can see the oil seeping out of the gravy and the fish is coated really well with the yummy gravy. Just leave it on high flame for 5 to 10 minutes until the gravy is completely coated onto the fish. And now we can see the yummy fish uppu curry is ready to serve hot with steamed rice or paratha or dosa. It goes really well with any South Indian cuisine. Try this recipe and leave in your comments and like and subscribe to Sharmilian. Thank you.